It's another beautiful day in the north of England. It's been about 30 degrees all day. I couldn't stay in, I had to grab the camera, come out for a hike and do some landscape photography. Now, you eagle-eyed viewers may recognize this area from a few weeks ago or last month. I hiked up to the summit of Great Gable and had a lovely evening. Well, I'm doing the same hike and I'm going to the same location. Not only to get familiar with the hike and familiar with the location, but also there was so much to be had from that spot that I just had to return. And as well as that, I have returned with the large format 4x5 camera. So very much looking forward to this. So this will be my third trip out with the large format camera. The first time out, I would say was a marginal success, although I did have some light leak issues. My second time out, was to try and figure out the cause of those light leak issues. Um, so I took the camera out to do a few tests. Unfortunately, that outing caused quite the storm on Twitter. Um, but yeah, the, the images were never meant to be published. I didn't film it. I was simply testing for light leaks. The images I got were nothing special, but the plus side to that is that there were no light leaks, which means the issue hopefully has been solved. And the issue, by the way, was user error. So this is my third time out. And hopefully, if the weather holds and we get some lovely light, this should be third time lucky. We'll see though, because I know for a fact that this is gonna be a very difficult exposure, um, the composition I have in mind. Ah, but looking forward to it, I'm nearly at the top of this rather steep climb, but when you get to the top, and you come over and you crest the summit, the view is just absolutely out of this world. So it's 40 minutes until sunset and I am all set up with my camera. Now it wasn't easy because um, it, we're in quite a windy spot here. In fact the name of the location where we are is called Windy Gap. So I should have known, I, sh I should have known, um, but I was optimistic that there wouldn't be any wind because it's been such a lovely calm day. I'm just sticking with one composition this evening and I'll probably shoot it as the light changes exposing both Velvia 100 and Kodak Ektar 100. Now this is all still a learning process for me, so I want to expose as much film as I can in different circumstances, uh, different types of light with different settings and just, just try and get a feel for how the film reacts to different types of light. So although I'm only shooting one composition here, I'm actually gonna maybe expose it four times, maybe even more. We'll see how we get on as the light changes. Um, and we'll just, we'll just see. But uh, looking forward to it. the composition I've got is just lovely. It's looking straight down the valley. We've got the prominent mountains to the left, which fall off, just fade off um, into the thickness of the atmosphere. And then we have the river on the right hand side, which really helps pull the eye into the frame. And I'm hoping that the sky this evening should go get some lovely color. Um, and then it'll be up to me to try and capture all of that in the film. So uh, a little bit nervous, a little bit apprehensive, but also 
quite looking forward to this. So um, it's just a case of waiting patiently for the light. But what a spot, what a spot to wait patiently for the light. So the light's just gorgeous now. I've just exposed two sheets of Ektar, one with an ND graduated filter, medium edge two stop, and one with no graduated filter. So um, be interesting to see the difference. I think I'll wait for the sun to drop now behind the, beneath the horizon, and uh, then I'll break out the Velvia, and we'll see if we can get some of that amazing color in the sky. So yeah. Um, it's a shame about the wind, but other than that, I'm hoping it's going okay. Um, as always, with film, and because I'm new to film, I am 100% convinced I've messed this up. So, um, yeah, I guess, I guess we'll wait to see what happens with this one. So the sun's just about to drop below the horizon. Unfortunately, the wind hasn't dropped, so it's still going strong. Um, I'm gonna keep my two-stop ND grad filter on. It's a medium edge, um, because I'm gonna shoot some Velvi now, which has a much lower dynamic range, um, only about five stops. So this image, or the next couple of images, should be really contrasty um, and hopefully the film will really help pick out the colours um, and, and you know really punch up and add saturation to the colours. So looking forward to this. Um, we'll get these images done and then I think we'll head down. F32, one second. I don't think this has gone very well, or it's hard for me to tell if this has gone very well. Um, we had a gorgeous, gorgeous sunset, and if I had my 5D4, would have had a great video, and would have definitely got some stunning images, which begs the question, why on earth am I shooting film? Well, I believe that once I get to grips with the whole large format film process, and become more efficient and have a greater understanding of it in the different film types, um, I think they will yield much higher image quality, an image quality that can't be matched by digital. But not just that, I really, really love the craft and the learning and the hands-on with just a wooden camera, some glass and some film. There's no electronics or anything like that. And that, the process is for me, why I'm learning this and why I'm doing it uh, this evening. So uh, it, it was windy. It's the worst, the worst conditions to shoot in large format of wind. You saw my <laughs> camera turn into a cape, the, the lens hood, uh, the dark cloth flapping about. That was, you know, that's just one example of why it's difficult. And when I'm making these videos and trying to concentrate on the photography, it's very difficult for those of you who drive, um, when you first learn to drive, you think about everything. Uh, your clutch, your accelerator, your gear stick, everything. Um, indicating, mirrors, um, and you're thinking about so much. So it's difficult to think about anything else. And it's the same with large format photography. I'm constantly thinking, okay, is the dark, is the dark slide in? Is the film, is it the right way round? Is my shutter closed? Is the aperture closed? Is the shutter cocked? Um, so much to think about. Um, 
and then it makes filming these videos much more difficult. Again, who knows what the images are like? I don't know, I haven't got a clue. So um, I always find it quite funny that you guys will have seen the images in this video before I even have a clue right now what they look like. And that's, that's, that's always funny for me. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, next week I should be in the Alps. So that will be a good one. All right, thanks for watching. Bye for now. I messed up big time. So the first sheet I exposed, uh, I pulled out the wrong dark side and ruined a piece of film, that's annoying. And the second sheet, I, um, I think I just overexposed it because I read my meter wrong. We'll not even talk about this. Yeah.